and welcome to another Group 1 Victorian horse racing preview and today I'm previewing the Black Caviar Lightning Stakes which is of course named after the greatest horse of this era, Black Caviar. Now this race will be ran right down the straight of the Flemington race course. It is due to get underway at 5 past 4 and it is race 7 on the Flemington race meeting agenda for this Saturday, the 20th of February. Now the field is made up of seven horses, so without further ado, let's get straight in to looking at this year's Black Caviar Lightning Stakes field. At number one, we have one of the big chances to win the race this year. It is Jatakwa coming out of Barrier 2. And, uh, well, he had a 140-day spell after his Group 1 all-aged race at Royal Randwick. That was last April the 20, uh, of the 2015 year. He came back in September at Mooney Valley. He placed, well, he came first in his first three races after that spell. Then came second, which was his last race in the Melbourne Cup Carnival at the Darling Classic. Got beaten by one of the horses in this year's Lightning Stakes. So we'll have a look at that horse a little bit later on. Definitely one of the big chances though. He's probably one of the best um, sprinters in Australia at this moment. He's been putting in some great performances and uh, definitely one of the big chances to win this race. At number two, we have Terry Vista, who is ridden by none other than Damien Oliver coming out of Barrier 6. Uh, his last race was actually at the Dali Classic last Melbourne Cup Carnival. He came third to Jatakwa. Um, and, uh, well, he has been beaten by Jatakwa on, in the last two of his races. He won, or he came first. He had a good trial at Warwick Farm a couple of weeks ago. He actually beat Ecclesphere. So, uh, going to be an interesting race for him. He's definitely a... He's definitely a chance. He's not a rule out. Uh, per, he's not a rule out type of horse because he's definitely a chance. He's definitely a horse that can uh, pull out some good form. He's a good sprinter. Um, probably one of the roughies for me, but one of the roughies to look out for, no doubt about it. He's also backed by the punters at about eight dollars. Number three, the horse I was talking about, who won the Dali Classic in last year's Melbourne Cup Carnival, beat Jatakwa and Terry Vista, and that is Delectation. And uh, definitely also one of the other chances. He's backed at about $8, though, so probably another sort of roughy. But in his last five, uh, four races, he's come first, fourth, second, and sixth. So he's been in reasonable form. He's definitely one of the chances. He's probably uh, more of a good chance to place, though. I don't think, uh, for some reason, I just think he won't beat Jatakwa on this occasion, though. Number four, we have V.A. Pinciro. I hope I am pronouncing that horse's name right. His last race was uh, last March, the 2015, where he actually ran in the Group 1, the Galaxy, which was at Rose Hill Gardens. That was last March 2015. He came 13th in that race, and the race before that, he came second. He's backed at $91 by the punters, so he isn't, he isn't much of a chance at all. He's coming out of barrier four, and he is ridden by Jason Coyle. Number five, the favourite, as I am recording this right now, is Exophia, who came um, who came second to Terra Vista, as I mentioned, in a recent trial race. His last race was the Coolmore Stud Stakes, which he came fourth. I think, he, I, think I actually backed him that day, actually. I think I had a bet. On him that day, I, I can't quite remember, but I, I think I gave him a good chance to win the race. He's one of the favourites, though. I, th I think that's because he's in great form and he's, uh, he's trial races. He's definitely not the rule-out uh, type of horse, that's for sure. He's got the win range to win this race. I'm definitely putting him in my top three. Whether he can beat Jatakwa or not 
is another question. Number six coming out of Barrier 5, a Chris Waller trained horse who is going to be jockeyed by Glenn Schofield is Jeopardize Me. Uh, he's one of the biggest roughies for me to look out for because, um, yeah, he's, he just looks like he's in some good form. Uh, at Royal Randwick, Randwick, sorry, last October, he came third in one of their Group 2 races. He came first. He won the Coolmore Stud Stakes, so he beat Exos Fear. And um, I wouldn't be ruling him out. I'd be probably putting him in my top four or five if I can. He's definitely one of the big roughies to look out for. And um, is he better than Jatakwa and Ecosphere and, and stuff like that? Well, he's definitely a good chance, I reckon. But as I said, though, he is a roughie for me. A big roughie to look out for, though. I'll talk about my roughies at the end of this video. He's backed by the punters at $10. That's a pretty good price for a uh, horse who looks pretty decent. Last but not least, number seven, coming out of barrier three, we have King Like, who is backed by the punters at $34. So the... Uh, uh, so, yeah, he's backed by the punters at $34. Uh, his last race was last October in the Spring Racing Carnival in one of the Group 2 races at Caulfield, where he came sixth. Definitely not much of a chance to win this race, so I'm not going to say any more. Okay, so that's the field. Let's get into my tips. I'm going to start with number one, Jatakwa. I can't go past him. He um, is... Just one of the great horses in this race. I don't reckon anyone will beat him. I think Exofear and Terra Vista and possibly Jeopardize Me and also Delection will give him a bit of a show, but I reckon he will come first in this year's Lightning Stakes. He wins it for me. Number two, he'll probably go close to coming first, Exofear, who has been in good form in his last five or six races. He's actually come first in three of those, so that's a pretty good effort for him. He's backed by the punters at about $2. I reckon he'll come second. Then number three, it's it was it was way up between Delectation and Terra Vista. I'm going to have to go Delectation. I think he's in a bit better form than Terra Vista. Of course, backed by the punters at $8. He comes third for me. And my roughie for this year's Lightning Stakes is, yep, you betcha, it is Jeopardize Me. I think at the odds he is at, I think he's a really good roughie to place your money on if you're, if you're looking for a roughie to bet on because... He looks like he's in good form. He's um, he's what placed in his last what four last four out of his six uh, last six starts. So he's definitely one of the horses that you really can't rule out. Um, he could even get a placing, I reckon. He, he's just one of those horses that you have to look out for. He's one of those roughies that you just can't rule out. Okay, so that is it for the Black Caviar Lightning Stakes preview for 2016. I do hope you enjoyed this preview. Do hope you can back a winner this Saturday on Lightning Stakes Day. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. I'd really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe also because next Friday I have more Victoria Group 1 horse racing previews. I've got Blue Diamond Stakes Day next week. Uh, which will include not only the Blue Diamond Stakes itself, but also the Viturity Stakes and also the Oakley Plate. So three Group 1s coming up next Friday. That's going to be a lot of work, a lot of research, a lot of study on the form guides, but I will have them up for you next week. Don't forget to also subscribe for all the other content I have on this channel. I've just started my AFL show. It was uploaded Wednesday. It's up being uploaded every Wednesday. It includes previews, reviews, news. Yep. You name it, so go check that out as well. Thank you very much once again for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.